Welcome to Salt Travel Co. We're going to be diving into Playa Flamingo and Playa Portrero this time. Both are located a stone's throw from each other in Guanacaste, Costa Rica's northern Pacific region, famously known as the Golden Coast. We're going to start with Playa Flamingo. Plunge your toes into some of the whitest, softest sand you'll find anywhere. Good morning from Playa Flamingo. Area activities include fishing, sailing, as well as visiting other nearby gems such as Brazalito, Portrero, where we'll go in a little bit, Playa Conchal, Las Catalinas, plus the variety of beaches near Tamarindo, which is about 30 minutes away. There are so many little coves and tiny beaches in this area that are just longing to be discovered. We've done videos on all of these places. And to me, if you're coming to Costa Rica and you like to change it up and do something different every day, but you still want a relaxing beach vacation, this is the spot. Every other hour you could change places and be in different types of sand and in different feeling beaches, but all within a few minutes of each other. Each town also has a distinct vibe. Some of them feeling more resorty and some have more culture and activities. There is public transportation available and it's pretty easy to come by, but having a rental car around this area will really make getting around a lot quicker. People use golf carts around town to run errands, go to the beach, and then reach the lofty accommodations on the many hillsides. You can rent these right here in town. Let's take a tour around and go explore. This bridge is one of two ways into what appears to be an island from this vantage point. Pretty much all of the shops and the markets, plus a few restaurants, are located right here in the beginning of town. The long stretch of white sandy beach, plus the high-end feel of the area, makes Playa Flamingo a great place for a laid-back, upscale vacation. A very popular spot to relax, unwind, enjoy beach activities, and soak up some vitamin D. Continuing on down here at sea level, you will next come to the beachfront Margaritaville Resort for you parrot heads out there. Down here along the gorgeous stretch of beach are some cute vacation rental houses and condos. And on either side you have towering hillsides full of luxury houses, hotels, more vacation rentals, all with incredible views around every corner. Accommodations here in Playa Flamingo are definitely mid to upper range. I love this life, yes I do, it gets even better when I'm spinning it with you, the lonely stars are all jealous it's true, cause they got nobody Now that we've explored the area, let's grab something to eat. One option is to pick up some tacos and take them to the beach for a casual picnic. You can grab some beverages and snacks at the supermarket right next door. Before you actually cross the bridge into town, there's this festive beach bar and restaurant, which has a really fun atmosphere. This area right here is also the jumping off place for a lot of the scuba diving, sailing, and fishing tours. 
Margaritaville obviously offers great margaritas and some classic menu items. We were driving out of town quite early in the morning and saw a merry group of senior citizens all happily sipping cocktails for breakfast. The super popular Coco Loco beachfront restaurant gets a nice crowd around lunch and sunset times and for a good reason. And there's even a great pizza place here on Flamingo. We're going to head out of town now and we'll talk a little bit about the marina as we go. And then we're off to Playa Portrero. For you boating and fishing enthusiasts, this marina will someday offer nearly 200 slips, plus a convention center and a hotel and a variety of shops and restaurants. Okay, so now we've explored the laid back flamingo. Let's go over to where there's a little more nightlife, culture, and activity. Nearby to Flamingo, Rosalito and Conchal is Playa Portrero, which is where we are right now. Playa Portrero is more of a typical Costa Rican beach town with a variety of restaurants and accommodations for all budgets. As you're standing on the beaches of Playa Portrero, you can gaze back over at Playa Flamingo. We grabbed some breakfast, the local Gallo Pinto, and took it to the beach. Playa Portrero has some neat beachfront spots, including a yacht club, this cute restaurant perched right on the sand. We caught a yoga class, which we were told was open to the public here at this hotel. Buena Costa definitely gets very dry in the summer months, or the dry season, we would call it, um, because summer months here are more like December through May, really, April, May. Um, you can see behind me that not a lot of vegetation over there, there's some cactuses. It's so easy to hop from beach to beach and each place feels so different. We loved Brazilito and Conchal. If you want to check out our episode we did on that, we'll link it at the end of this video. We also love Tamarindo, but it's definitely a very different scene over there. We've got a couple special Travel Tuesday episodes coming up where we'll be talking about local food, which was one of my subscribers' suggestions. Thank you so much. And we will also be doing traveling with pets internationally and giving some guidelines of how to do it and how easy it, it is. Thank you all for watching. Pop over to our Patreon if you'd like to help support the channel. Giving us a like and a subscribe is really the best, easiest, and free way to do it. We really appreciate you all being here. We appreciate your support and we especially appreciate you staying till the end. So until next time, salt travelers, cheers and happy travels. Good morning, time to go. Oh, we are up.